The JRPG genre of gaming has recently gone very stale and its popularity has dropped significantly in recent years. The same goes for the Final Fantasy franchise. With its very recent games leaving a bad taste for consumers, can the latest instalment of the Final Fantasy franchise be enough to revive a dying franchise? If only somebody hadn't wrecked the car. God, unbelievable. Oh, I would hate to be that guy. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be that way. You know I didn't mean to do it. Of course not. Sabotage is far beyond you. Originally called Final Fantasy vs. 13, Final Fantasy XV has a lot to live up to with its long development time which is nearly reaching a decade now, so the expectation for this game is through the roof. Luckily Square Enix have given us a demo of Final Fantasy XV titled Episode to Sky, which gives us a feel to what the game will feel like when it finally releases. It's futile. Rise and shine, princess. Tremors. Now you did it. Just call me Titan. <clears throat> Morning there, buddy. The demo kicks off with the four protagonists getting ready to do some exploration. The aim of the demo is to raise enough money so you can repair your car and continue onwards. During this time, Noctis and his friends will travel across the Sky region to find different ways of raising some money. Now, unlike previous titles in the series, Final Fantasy XV has a completely new fighting system which is very akin to the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Now, this new system does do many fantastic things right, and some things can be problematic. One of the best things about this system is how much freedom you have when exploring the field or bat battling enemies. Everything flows so much nicer now and feels like a modern day action and adventure game. This approach will definitely attract those who are not fans of the slow turn based gameplay of the previous games. Long time Final Fantasy veterans may disagree, although the new system is fast and feels good. There are still many issues that the developers still need to address. Wonder what it's like outside. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Couldn't ask for better weather. Ah, good day for walking. Aren't we lucky? For one, the lock-on system isn't explained well enough and makes fighting a horde of enemies quite troublesome. This is because the game automatically locks onto an enemy, but to get a proper hard lock onto the enemy, you have to click in your right stick so that the camera follows the enemy. Yet again, this isn't explained in the demo, but once you're locked onto an enemy, the combat will flow much smoother. Movement for the most part is fairly good, but sometimes it feels like you're controlling a tank rather than a person. I get this is done to make everything feel more realistic and natural, but this simply makes it uncomfortable at times. And the fact that Noctis gets worn out after 10 seconds of running can get annoying, but it still feels good to wander around the region of the sky and it feels good and comfortable. Episode Disco's presentation looks overall fairly good, especially for something that is still a work in progress. Although the game doesn't run at full HD or at a consistent 30 frames per second, it still looks very impressive. The game does suffer from frame rate problems at times, mainly when you're fighting a large amount of enemies at once. It's not too much of an issue, but you do notice it when it happens. Though it may be that these problems will be fixed in the final release. We're well short of the amount due, I'm afraid. We need to think bigger, like Behemoth Big. Hunting down its horns could get us the money, if it doesn't get us killed. Noctis and Co are fairly good characters in their own right as well. Although the voice acting in the demo for the English dub leaves more to be desired with Noctis sounding like a rough Batman and the rest of the cast sounding fake and unnatural. Hopefully they readjust the voice acting for the final release as I feel these characters have potential to be absolutely fantastic. The demo will last you around 3-4 to four hours of playtime which is very good considering that this is just a taste of what is yet to come. The demo also has a levelling up system, so if you wanted to come back after finish the demo and reach the level cap you can. One of the game's bosses, Behemoth, is also available to fight again once the demo has been finished, so there's plenty 
to go back to once you have finished the main portion of the demo. Final Fantasy Episode to Sky shows that there's life in the old Final Fantasy dog yet, with a great new sense of freedom to do whatever the hell you want really adds to the experience as a whole. Compared to how linear Final Fantasy XIII was, the developers are definitely going in the right direction, but there are still a few issues that need to be addressed for the final release of Final Fantasy XV, such as the annoying targeting system and camera and whatnot. But this demo proves that Square Enix know what they're doing with Final Fantasy XV, and the fact they are listening to the fans' feedback is just absolute faith in the developers. I give Episode of Sky a gold trophy for its smooth gameplay and the quality of the experience that the demo gives. It gives us such high hopes for the final release of Final Fantasy XV. Hopefully it won't get mucked up like previous Final Fantasies. So thank you all for listening to my review of Final Fantasy XV Episode of Sky. I'll speak to you guys later. See you later. Yeah. Time to hit the road. Thanks again, Cindy. Mm. Y'all take care out there.